We may have won by losing. That was Mayor Rahm Emanuel's spin today on Amazon's decision to split new auxiliary headquarters and the 50,000 jobs that go with it between New York City and Northern Virginia. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely says the mayor voiced no regrets about not offering more incentives. You can't win if you don't compete. And you're not guaranteed just because you compete, you're going to win. That was Mayor Emanuel's philosophical take on Chicago's loss in the Amazon's second HQ sweepstakes. Despite the city's high-powered hype campaign, including that glitzy promo video narrated by Star Trek star William Shatner. Really, the press release writes itself. But today, Alexa also used the Second City theme in her snarky apology for rejecting Chicago. But if it's any consolation, you were the second city we chose. Get it? So why did Chicago lose out? Sources hinted Springfield's political rancor, pension problems, and tax hike uncertainty didn't help. As for subsidies, New York offered $2 billion, Northern Virginia around $500 million. But Chicago also offered around $2.5 billion in state and city tax breaks. I do believe that the right type of way you incentivize a company isn't through just money. It is through a 21st century airport, 21st century mass transit, 21st century workforce with a university system to back it up, and also an affordable neighborhood and dynamic neighborhood system, which is what we have. And asked if he was sorry Chicago didn't offer more? I'm not sorry at all. City Hall also noted that in Wisconsin, Governor Scott Walker was defeated after the $4 billion cost of luring 50,000 Foxconn jobs finally sunk in with voters. And in Seattle, Amazon's become a target for soaring home prices and increased homelessness, problems that secondary headquarters could face as well, but Chicago won't. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely. CBS 2 News. Rob? Derek, the numbers you just gave us, Chicago offered more incentives than the places that got it. So what's the deal there? That's confusing. Well, roughly the same. I mean, if you combine the $2 billion in New York with the half billion in, uh, in, uh, down in Virginia. But I, I think what the mayor was saying is that uh, these other qualities that Chicago has are, are more important and should have put it over the top. I think they're kind of scratching their heads now about why it didn't, except pointing to perhaps the problems in Springfield. Okay. Derek Blakely, live in the newsroom. Thank you.